This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Okay, we're here today with Talk of Asian Marketing, and here is Joe Cooperman. That's right. Right from Jungsin University, and uh, we're colleagues actually. And we are a very exciting event today, so we brought out the video camera to be on location. So you're going to get video, not just sound today. Much better, right? Exactly. Yeah. And what's going on here? Well, we're at the Costco opening, and I, I do have to say, as on a personal note, that uh, I personally have lived in uh, Taichung for seven years, and. And as a foreigner living abroad, there are certain creature comforts from back in North America that I do miss. Uh, bagels are one. Certain bagels. kinds of meats. Certain kinds Meat. of cheese. Cheese. And uh, I'm hoping today uh, that Costco, now that it's arrived, will in fact supply these things to me. Okay, that's three things. Um, and what else? Uh, <laughs> vitamins. Uh, vitamins, hey, in fact. Right, vitamins, right, right. Vitamins in Taiwan right, are unfortunately. Right, right. Uh, uh, rarely seen and and quite expensive. expensive. Um, uh, you can get Centrum vitamins in Taiwan, but unfortunately, now you can, but the, they're, they're a little bit high too. Aren't they, they are. They are. The the larger caliber ones that I like to take, frankly, that give me a little more energy, are hard to find. So I'm hoping that Costco and the Kirkland brand will supply those. Energy. That's energy. energy. I'm looking for that. Okay. Well, speaking of energy, on my shopping list today is coffee beans. They sell these big bags of beans. Oh, I can almost cheap, right? smell them. Yeah, there you go. All right, so yeah, we're at the front, and as you can see, it's a little bit of a chaotic situation. We just got through having a big lineup for a giveaway. I think it was uh, some eggs. You got eggs, 10 some eggs. eggs. Something about a breakfast or something. So they all lined up for that, and then a bunch of people lined up front here. And here you go. I was just talking to some representatives, and they say that the membership drive has been very successful for Central Taiwan. I, I read somewhere that uh, their pre-sales uh, is unmatched in Asia. Yeah, that's yeah. what they were just telling me, that they're unmatched. Yeah, well, we got some people walking through our video, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's really packed here. And we had a line going all the way around the store, and the police had to come do traffic. I guess one reason for this, Joe, is... You know, for outside of Taipei, which is kind of Taiwan's New York, mm -hmm. and Kaohsiung, which is kind of like a Pittsburgh, I guess, uh, kind of industrial Detroit or sure, something, right? Sure, sure. This is more like a kind of your average city uh, outside of the main hub, right? This and Tainan haven't seen stores like this very often. In fact, we don't have category killers outside of the major Taipei and Kaohsiung area at all, and this is certainly a category killer. Each category, very low price, one or two selection, and that's it. So I think that might be part of the excitement. In fact, a lot of people I know, a lot of foreigners, used to have a card and they run all the way up to Taipei. Did you ever make trips up to... I didn't, but I actually had people do it for me, Clyde. <laughs> you mean, you give them your card. Literally. And they go up for you. Literally. Oh, I actually, I never had a card, but I had friends. I would, I would figure out things that I wanted. For example, I'm a big beef jerky guy. Beef jerky. Big beef jerky You're is not my. Not find much beef jerky. That's right. That's store. right. I think what's also an interesting thing to mention is that, in fact, uh, tai, Taichung has been without Costco. So, in fact, there were smaller stores. Um, uh, several years ago, there was a store that was called Costco, oh, yeah. uh, different spelling. That, yeah. And all they did was they went up to Taipei or Kaohsiung and uh, acquired products from Costco, brought them back to Taichung, and resold them for a profit. Yeah. Um, so uh, I've literally been buying items from Costco um, you know, uh, for years at an, at, an, at an inflated price simply because they've been impossible to get in the city. Well, that's a good point. I mean, you can actually buy those so cheap and you can re-import it or reship it in a kind of gray market. That's actually a strategy Costco uses themselves. Mm -hmm. They buy things at the gray market and then sell them in their stores. So a lot of brand names, Pierre Cordon, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right? They don't like it because they find out all of a sudden their products here and they never sold it to them. They get on right. the gray market. It's the same kind of idea. In fact, it was pretty common in Taiwan for the last 20 years I've been here. They get small stores. They'll just buy containers back in the U.S. and California, ship the container over and sell it in their small store and you get all your foreigners coming there. So that really leads to a question which is we're going to talk about later. 
you know, how much of this is oriented to foreigners. I've seen a lot of foreigners here today, but I have to say, it looks to me like everybody else in line is a local Chinese and uh, really, really popular. They're all standing a long time in line. I guess that has something to do with uh, the excitement that built around it, but a lot of people here obviously know about Costco. Do you have any Chinese friends that know about it and are excited a about absolutely it? Absolutely, Clyde. I think that the, uh, uh, the, the, the brand recognition is very strong with Costco. And, and, and as you mentioned, uh, there have been, uh, there was a store, or there has been a store in Taipei, and there has been a store in Kaohsiung for years. And uh, yeah. Taichung has been kind of the neglected younger brother uh, it, who has not received uh, the Costco. So in fact, I think it's, it's uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time, both foreigners and Taiwanese. Yeah, we're getting real busy here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop here, take a break, and then we're gonna take a, another angle, look around a little bit, and get James in on here and a couple other people to talk to us. Now, how 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 now, how